today my travel vlog is taking me to the gateway to Anglesey. Thomas Purpose Bridge, which was built in 18, well, construction started in 1819 and it was completed in 1826. And then, after we cross over the bridge, I'll be taking you over to Church Island and we'll have a look at the historic places there and look at some medieval fish traps. Welcome to Anglesey. The Menai Bridge is situated in the county of Gwynedd in North Wales. It spans 417 metres across the Menai Strait to link Anglesey with the mainland. Access to Anglesey before the bridge was built was by ferry, the first being in 1292. When the bridge opened in 1826, the ferries ceased. The bridge is made of raw iron and stone. The limestone was sourced locally from Penmont to construct the towers and arches. Chain cables were made from 935 iron bars to support the 176 metre long span. The chains were protected from rusting while waiting to be erected by soaking in linseed oil, then later painted. Each chain measured 522.3 metres and weighed 121 long tons. Their suspending power was circulated at 2,016 long tons. The bridge deck is 12 metres wide and 30 metres high. Later, the bridge required restoration and modernising, and in 1893, the wooden deck was replaced with steel. And in 1938 to 1940, the iron chains were replaced with steel. The rapid waters of the Menai Straits are a valuable asset for rescue services to practice flood defence training as the rising tides that sweep in daily offer the same impact as that of freak floods. The rapids also attract water sports enthusiasts of all ages and all types of craft who come to hone their aquatic skills in the Menai Strait. The fast moving currents of the Menai mean that there is an abundance of food above and below the surface of the water. A heron stands almost statuesque waiting for that opportune moment. Others take the opportunity to bathe and preen while one herring gull seems happy just to let the world go by. Waders get to work sifting through the mud and silt during the low tide. While ducks appear to have taken a leaf out of the gull's book and take the opportunity to relax in the winter sun. Church Island is linked to the mainland by a narrow path that leads straight into the cemetery. The entrance is guarded with a huge conifer. The grave of Thomas Williams involved in the building of the Menai Suspension Bridge. Others not so fortunate with no known grave are at least now remembered by a plaque. Church Island also has a graveyard which is uh, dedicated to uh, the war memorials from the First and the Second World War. Uh, one of the graves there is quite poignant. Poignant because it involves a connection to the famous ill-fated HMS Hood. Son of Rennig and Elizabeth, 20-year-old able seaman Harold Harlan Jones of Menai Bridge, served on the flagship HMS Hood. The Hood, along with the HMS Prince of Wales and their destroyer escorts, left Scapa Flow close to midnight on the 22nd of May 1941. Hood engaged Prince Eugen, not realising at first that the Bismarck was trailing the ship, but it was too late to switch. The next few salvos continued at Prince Eugen without impact. The Hood then engaged Bismarck, and her salvo landed in between both ships, never striking either.
Bismarck sent her first salvo without impact and the second but the third struck the hood and the explosion sent her to the bottom of the sea in minutes. HMS Hood's demise would stun a nation, so much so that Winston Churchill demanded it be kept a secret at first. Out of the 1,418 men, only three survived. Signalman Ted Briggs, Midshipman William Dundas and able seaman Robert Tilburn. The small medieval building on Church Island marks the site of a religious cell established by St. Cecilio in the 6th century. He moved here to get away from his father, the Prince of Powers, who wanted Cecilio to become a leader in his army. The current building is thought to date to around the early 15th century and its roof is a rare example of Anglesey construction. The church was supplanted in the 1850s by the new St. Mary's Church which was closer to the town and its growing population. Most of the church island was occupied by a farm until August 1918 when the Bishop of Bangor consecrated the whole island for burials. This was possible because the Marquis of Anglesey had given the land to the church when the farm's lease expired. In 2002, the first pair of breeding little egrets nested on this very little island here. In medieval times, living on Church Island could be quite a lucrative way of getting your daily meal. Across here you can see evidence of fish traps which were built to trap the water and to trap the fish with the incoming and outgoing tides. The fish traps don't uh, attract the fishermen anymore but what they do do is they make a safe haven for waders and ducks. Thanks for watching my travel vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'm now going to say goodbye to the Menai Bridge and Church Island and make my way home. Please tune in for another film. Okay, take care. Bye. But it still stands proud and I'm lost for words. I've gone blank. The church unfortunately isn't open today but uh, I'll show you some exterior pictures from some that I took beforehand. Oh, heavenly. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me for another travel vlog um, in the beautiful Anglesey on the Menai. Sun's setting now. So I'm going to make a steady drive home, but uh, do get out, please get out and travel around. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me on another travel vlog in Wales, um, meeting the beautiful Isle of Anglesey. And if you can, always, uh, yeah, you know, always that thing, you know, get out. <coughs> Cut! Thanks for joining me on another travel vlog in Wales and uh, yeah, blank. 
I hope you enjoyed the travel vlog in Wales. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my travel vlog on the Menai Bridge and Church Island in Anglesey. And I hope to see you again on another trip. Be lucky. Whatever. But, you know. <coughs> Thanks for watching, and I hope you watch again. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. <clears throat> well, it's time to go home and leave the uh, Menai Bridge and Church Island. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching. And I hope you join me again on another day out, on another vlaunt. Vlaunt?